Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And journalists continue their unwarranted attacks on gamers. Now they've made a really scathing accusation that gamers can't get it up. That's right. You know, you should just leave the games to women because if you're a guy and you play with games, it could increase your risk of erectile dysfunction. <laughs> You know, I, I, I'm, I'm joking. I'm like, yeah, and it's all sweet baby ink's fault, too. But it well, is. Well, some of these people, some of these ways they've been portraying these women probably do lead to erectile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. At least erectile dysfunction. How fucking ugly modern video game female characters are. That's that's why it's not getting up. Uh, no, I, I'm, I, it is weird. The timing of this is very curious. I will say that. We have a, a renewed attack on gamers it could be purely coincidental but all of a sudden this study comes out that if you play video games you you can't get it up but the funny thing is when you look at the actual study it's not talking about just computer it's computer usage first right, of all, not right. game specifically but they're also talking about driving or sitting for long periods of time like watching television it's just being you know sed sedentary to begin with is the issue but they're not now you know because guys are the ones causing all the problems and it, it may you know you you should leave the gaming because to women because of erectile dysfunction well this is why we need to have hotter female game characters so guys can get it up and then they can take it out on their girlfriends and wives there you go. I mean, honestly, the simple solution, if you look Stellar at the research, blade. is that's just, the solution. Well, I was going to say, just the, the, the simple solution is just get, move around every so often. I mean, don't sit on your fat ass and your pee pee will work. Yeah, uh, basically. Let's, uh, let's talk. Oh, yeah, because I mean, it makes sense if you're sitting on your ass for 14 hours straight playing, it's the blood, the circulation is going to get cut off. So. They have some the, some very medically technical terms in their, in their, in their research. We're going to look at the research. Though. All right. So let's, let's talk about this before you do it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys you get woohoo if you do <laughs> or do you or do <laughs> you <laughs> will you get a woohoo i don't know how long have you been playing playing games uh so i mean this is look some this of the guys play games and have absolutely no problem getting it up while they're playing games while and they're playing it games? back down while they're playing games yes you know what i'm talking about oh god just disinfect the controller please that's all I'm asking. Um, yeah, so this comes from the New York Post that also put this beautiful article out a couple of years ago. People who identify as gamers are more likely to be racist and sexist. Says a study. Says a study. And now we have playing computer games can increase the risk of erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. And you know what kind of ads we're going to get on this video, right? Well, go go out to the to the uh, the source. Okay, the source is Andrology. It's, it's a journal, okay? Okay. And it's a it's an online library. So they're doing this this research project. And when we actually look at the information, it's, it's a little interesting. So the background: erectile dysfunction has been associated with leisurely sedentary behavior in several um, different studies, op observational and epidemiological studies. However, the interpretation of these findings is difficult due to the residual confounding or reverse casu casuality. So the correlations. Objectives. To explore the casual association between leisurely sedentary behavior and erectile dysfunction, and to explore the underlying mechanism using the um, Mendelian randomization. And they use the two the with the two sources. But basically what they're doing is they're running it through and finding out what the mean, the average is with all these studies. It's not like they're doing a separate study. So if you just lay around all day, there is a chance that your PP might not work. Right. And they're not just okay. looking at just gaming, but they right. associate with gaming. And they're saying that studies of leisurely sedentary behaviors, television watching, computer use, and driving, and this association with erectile dysfunction, sex hormones, um, what their levels are, things like that. Um, and the, the psychiatric symptoms of depression and anxiety, what they're looking at for the correlations using the two sample um, randomization analysis, Mandelian, which basically looks at different, it looks at different samples and it compares and contrasts and then it does like a mean. So it's not really going out and doing their own research. It's looking at other research analysis is the way it sounds. So, I mean, look. It could be wrong though. It, it could be that you're just overall, you're unhealthy if you're you're sitting in a chair for 14 hours a day. It mm -hmm. could be that you're playing video games because you're depressed and you're trying to get away from the real world. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a... This yeah, is this is a, a many-layered thing. And a great risk of a greater risk of erectile dysfunction was significantly associated with higher genetic susceptibility 
to leisure computer usage. What so does that, that mean? Genetic susceptibility means you have a higher risk of erectile dysfunction if you're genetically susceptible to, to it. sitting around and playing know. computer games? There's no, a gene for that? No evidence was obtained to suggest that watching television or driving for leisure increased the risk of erectile dysfunction. Just, just computers. But, oh, no, no association was found between computer use and depression and anxiety. But then they're going to say, but playing computers makes your pee-pee not work. Yeah, discussion. Extended computer usage for leisure raised the likelihood of developing erectile dysfunction, which may be associated to lower follicle-stimulating hormone levels. However, the role of the dysfunction psychological disorders in the development of erectile dysfunction should not be underestimated. Moderate physical activity may help to correct the dysfunction. Get off your ass and exercise. Your blood might flow. You might not be as depressed, and your PP will grow strong. Because of blood flow. But they're doing a whole article. Computer gamers, if you're, if you're a dude and you play games, you should get, stop playing games and just leave it to women because your, your pee-pee might not work. This is like, yeah. So here we go. This is, this is the article. Too much screen time is making men soft. Chinese scientists found that playing computer games for a prolonged period can drastically increase someone's likelihood of experiencing erectile dysfunction. Actually, it's not exactly what they said. Mm -hmm. The present study offered substantial evidence. That's There's not a lot of substantial evidence. Substanti there wasn't substantial evidence. They just looked for causation. Yeah. They said, uh, yeah, evidence for positive uh, causal association between computer use and the risk of dysfunction wrote the study authors. Yeah, they looked, for, they, looked at, they looked at previous studies and looked for, you know, things that overlapped. Scientists arrived at this hard truth by exploring the causal association yes. between leisure, sedentary behavior and erectile dysfunction. That could be anything. That could just be laying on the couch and watching Star Trek or daytime TV or whatever. No, no. They search that too. But when you drive or watching TV, you don't have the same problems. It's when you're playing computers stuff only. Depressed, unemployed. What, what, what if, you play a, uh, if you play on a, uh, uh, like a Switch or an Xbox, you're fine. It's just on a computer. Yeah, right. Uh, depressed, unemployed men who lay around and watch The View all day might not be able to get it up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Uh, to gauge if there was a link, they observed 223,000 men, men aged 40 to, okay. 40 to 69. Okay. I cannot. Okay. Okay. I didn't catch that part. 40 to 69. As so middle-aged and older men who don't move around <laughs> a lot and sit in front of the computer might not be able to get it up, but let's blame gamers. Yes, it's because it's causally, oh, causally for associated. for fuck's sake. Well, uh, actually, with, you can't. Uh, with the sedentary life, the leisure activities. In older men, I mean, granted, when you're 40, it's not that bad. But I'm just saying, like, when you're over a certain age, you, you have trouble. Sometimes you have trouble to begin with. There's a lot of commercials about this problem. Bentcarrot.com. Yeah, now hymns. we're going to see ads. We're going to see ads. I was thinking hymns. That's hymns. because your wink, winky's crooked. But I was thinking more hymns. But I would like, not know. I would not know. I just like, wanted this claim. <laughs> there's a there's a problem for some people, and they're talking at gay, guys that are 40, 69. Most of these people aren't usually as as video game um, savvy as younger people. Not all, obviously, but a lot of like the 69 year olds aren't usually out there playing games all day. You know, I'm just like <laughs> so we're looking at men who are older who might be depressed and it just might not work that right because they're older and they might have other issues and they're they're that's not working because they're well, they're playing video games uh, this doesn't make it. and who who would volunteer for that study so then then they measure participants level of testosterone and other sex hormones as well as feelings of depression and anxiety well depression and anxiety that'll do it right so they there, made them know, sit like... through leisure activities and then they they measure their testosterone in these older men who might already have lower testosterone um and then asked them if they felt depressed or anxious. Scientists found that for every additional 1.2 hours of leisure time on the computer, of which type they didn't specify again. Yes. So we make the entire this article about games. about games. The participants more than tripled their likelihood of experience ED. They could just be on the news sites. Just watching the, like, the, the extreme news sites will make you depressed and increase anxiety. Interestingly, scientists didn't obtain any evidence to suggest that watching TV or leisure driving didn't have the same effect, suggesting that being sedentary wasn't the problem in and of itself. That no, actually, that's kind of what they well, did. Well, do they but do they for, do they account for age? Yeah, I'm sorry, forty to sixty nine. If you're gonna start having problems, is gonna be after forty. If you if you had like twenty two year olds in there, I was like, oh, twenty two year old was playing Fortnite and he can't get it up anymore. Um, that that's a different story. 
How do these pixelated pursuits torpedo one's hard drive? Prolonged computer usage is associated with lower levels of follicle stimulating hormones, which is manufactured by the brain's pituitary gland along with testosterone. In men that are 40 to 69. Yeah, right. It's responsible for stimulating sperm production in men, which when in, impinged can result in ED. In by, men that are 40 to 69. 40 to 69. By a similar token, low levels of F ACE. I want to say fish. Low levels of fish. fish you, you can't get fish, it up. You're not getting it up. Sorry. Low levels of FSH have also been found to cause decreased libido, infertility, and low energy. In men aged 40 to 69. 40 to 69. Fortunately, this digitally induced impotence can be counteracted by moderate physical activity. So we're going to blame, bro. You know, you know who's causing, you know, Gamergate 2.0, right? Those middle-aged men who are on the internet all day and who are playing games. So let's tell them it doesn't make their pee-pee work and then they'll get off and go outside and do other things. And then we can, we can, you know, we can own the games again. They did it, they did, but the, the article did say, if you go back up though, the article does point out um, that, the study had several caveats, most notably the fact they only evaluated men, you know, yeah. under 70, you know, this age range, which ED is most prevalent. It could be another causation that is, you know, oh there. Oh, God. Um, so then they're talking about. And the intensity of the symptoms was also not clarified. Yeah. And they said the study also neglected to specify what type of leisurely computer use up the chances of ED, which currently affects around 30 million men. However, previous studies have found that online porn can ruin young men's love lives by giving them unrealistic sex expectations. Porn ad addiction can lead to desensitization to sexual stimulus. So now they're going into porn. Like, what the frick? But we're talking so about men. So did a study, and they tried to see that, yes, if you're on a computer, we didn't specify what, for like certain periods of time, not depending on where you go, it's going to make you more anxious and depressed and make your pee-pee go out work, and men, 40 to 69. I'm like, but that's because, you know, playing games is going to make you, you impotent. I can't. I, you know, I... Well, some of these games, I've seen, like I said, some of the ways they've, they've portrayed the women. So there might be other reasons for impotence. You, uh, you know, you've been playing Starfield, haven't you? That's why That's why you can't get it up anymore. You've been playing Starfield and you've had to, to stare at those ungodly, uncanny valley What about NPCs? women who play games all the time? I mean, if you sit there and look at the same things you had these men looked at at ages 40 to 69, have you seen the same kind of issues? Like they don't want to do, I mean, obviously they don't have the penis getting up thing, but they're not interested in sex. <laughs> well, now you can't say that now. You can't say that. Some women do have the penis getting up thing. You don't you want to be accused I mean. of being, a, you know, not on board with the way I'm just saying, okay, if, you're, if you are a cis woman, there you go. I hate using that. You know, I love that. You, that's not supposed to be a hate term, but you know. Did they I, ever? To me, I don't like it. It makes me mad. Okay. Just so call me a woman. Thank you. Did they ever consider that maybe the men can't get it up because they haven't found somebody to get it up for? Did they ever consider that the age could be part of the problem because you have lower testosterone levels in general? Or all of the above? Or I maybe you're, if you're like a 45-year-old man and your life's stressful, you have anxiety and depression that might be outside of gaming, but then you go and play a game and the game's dog shit and you spend a lot of money on it. <laughs> and Sweet Baby Ink worked on it and now you're like, fuck this, and that makes you <laughs> yeah. depressed. Sweet Baby Ink is, is making sure that... Uh, we're going to have a population uh, decrease, right? They're going to make sure. Well, when you're 40 the... to 69, you aren't really pumping out kids as much. I'm not saying you don't. I'm just saying it's not as, as common. Yeah, I, I, I think there are a lot of issues, and this is a very it's faulty. It's one of the stupidest things I've seen on the internet today. I, I, again, if you, were, if you were saying that, you know, 20-something men were having problems you know, uh, then yeah, may, maybe possibly. I'd say they aren't playing the right kind of games. They're not playing the right kind of games. Yeah, we need more <laughs> porn games. If you're playing a game, right? And you're yeah. playing a game, and even if it's a game that doesn't have women in it or whatever, and you're playing a game and it's like something that you have to focus on and it's something that you're maybe working with a team for or something like that, you're not exactly thinking, oh, you hot damn, I can't wait later. You're just going to be thinking, like, you have those, that meme about the girl in bed with a guy, and, like, what's he thinking about? And she thinks he's thinking about other women. And he's probably thinking, like, shit, those, those, you know, people were, like, camping over there, and we could have beat them if they weren't, and stuff like that. So they don't want to get it on because he's pissed about his game. <laughs> I'm like, it's not... 
Correlation does not necessarily equal causation. Yeah. And but vice the, versa. But they're, they're, uh, say they're reaching they're grabbing they're uh, i mean again this is they're not reaching that's the problem they're trying to to make gaming the the bane of existence i think we did a video on this one before too didn't we? i think we did yeah, yeah. They're, they're well these these kinds of articles are making the rounds now because of everything going on with sweet baby inc and gamergate 2 and all that jazz now gamers are awful games are awful we need uh people like sweet baby inc to to tell gamers what's what and they're just a bunch of toxic bigots and every time there's uh, a shooting or something and well that person played video games that must be what's causing them to kill people and now they can't get it up either um, that's what's causing them to kill people. And that's what's causing. They're frustrated. They're. That's why they're they, on the internet trying to say Gamergate Two should should happen. They think they're entitled to sex. Gamergate Two are those seventy year olds who can't get up after playing video games. Oh my god! You know it's so weird. I was thinking about this and I was talking about this with uh, Squid King. Wait. No, not <laughs> this. Wait. No, no. I was I was thinking about <laughs> something completely unrelated, oh, oh, but yeah. also related. Oh okay, my God! Yes, I, but I talk with my son. I like to talk. No, about how I can't get it up. After no, <laughs> God, no, no, God, no, <laughs> gonna, no. If he was here right now. No, he'd say I wish I wasn't. God, I, wish I was. I wish I could disappear. No, I told him. I, I said, not listen to this video. I said, when you dump my old ass off in the old folks' home, when I'm in my 70s or 80s, they're gonna be playing Nirvana and REM and like Pearl Jam and shit. Do you realize that, right? We're gonna have we're gonna have people in the old folks' home that have a lot of tattoos and piercings. That's happening now. I know, right? It's like um, you know, because we're all the like, hippies and yeah, stuff. There. Yeah, yeah. But like when when it, when our turn comes, it's gonna be like instead of having the old timey wimey music from the '30s and '40s playing, we're we're gonna be listening to alt rock in the old folks' home, and we're gonna have like a, a senior mosh pit, and we're gonna be playing. <laughs> Yeah, there's a mental image. Yeah, and and we're gonna. Oh my God, I'm thinking about this. And I'm like a bunch of like Gen X or, oh God, in the old folks' home. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be weird as hell. It's gonna be weird as hell. You're gonna we have grandmas. Bites, but I would too if I can find my teeth. <laughs> we're gonna have like like. God, just picture like Janine Garofalo as a grandma or something. Like that's just gonna well, be. Well, she's weird. older than us, so you know. She's she, she could yeah. be. She know. might be. Who knows? I don't know. She's she's probably like ten years older than we are, fifteen years. I don't older know. She's older than us. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's gonna be weird. And I'm thinking about this. And I'm like, but the, those old people are gonna be playing video games. They're probably gonna play old video games. But they'll be playing video games. I mean, my grandma was playing Nintendo. She was playing Tetris and she, stuff. She did. She did. She loved it. She loved Tetris and Dr. Mario and uh, all the puzzle games and stuff. But I'm like, yeah, like our generation, we're going to be playing video games in the old folks' home. When and we I won't be able kid, to get it up. My, when, we, when I was a kid, when we got in, my, my brother and sister got Nintendo for Christmas. And when we go to school, my mother apparently would play it all day. And then play <laughs> Zelda. So, uh, you know. She liked Animal Crossing, too. She that did. Was, yeah. So anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yes. There we go, guys. Uh, <sighs> whatever. <laughs> I, just, I don't even have anything to say. This is a stupid study. It's a stupid correlation. It's just, a, it's just this is the New York Post wanting to take a shit on gamers because clicks, right? We're going to wrap it up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.